Another day and another guilty plea reached in the Georgia elections interference case, find out who. Jenna Ellis becomes the fourth person to reach a plea deal with the Fulton County DA's office, and she is going to be paying a $5,000 fine and be placed on five years of probation. Then her record is sealed. Uh, this was a sweetheart deal, but what happens with all of these plea deals, each one of these individuals testifies against other defendants in this case. Another additional condition that was attached to this case is that a letter had to be presented to the state of Georgia and um, she actually read it aloud in court. Let's take a listen. Thank you, Your Honor, for the opportunity to address the court. As an attorney who is also a Christian, I take my responsibilities as a lawyer very seriously and I endeavor to be a person of sound moral and ethical character in all of my dealings. In the wake of the 2020 presidential election, I believed that challenging the results on behalf of President Trump should be pursued in a just and legal way. I endeavored to represent my client to the best of my ability. I relied on others, including lawyers with many more years of experience than I, to provide me with true and reliable information especially since my role involved speaking to the media and to legislators in various states. What I did not do, but should have done, Your Honor, was to make sure that the facts the other lawyers alleged to be true were in fact true. In the frenetic pace of attempting to raise challenges to the election in several states, including Georgia, I failed to do my due diligence. I believe in and I value election integrity. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. I look back on this full experience with deep remorse. For those failures of mine, Your Honor, I have taken responsibility already before the Colorado Bar who censured me, and I now take responsibility before this court and apologize to the people of Georgia. Thank you. A lot of pundits are focusing in on the last few statements of that, that letter. If I knew then what I know now, um, she would not have represented Trump in this matter. This potentially could be damaging, but what's really um, being talked about in these circles is that these are all very low hanging fruit in this RICO cases. That's how they're trying to paint it. But it's just not good when you have now four people of the 19 who were indicted all admitting to some level of guilt to the point that now the DA has a 100 percent uh, guilty plea rating thus far. There are 15 more indictees to go, including former President Trump. Um, this case may not make it at this pace to the end of the year. Um, that would put former President Trump on a very busy schedule with the cases he's already facing in D.C. on the uh, his fraud cases in in, in New York, um, this is this is going to be bad again. We keep saying it, but it keeps ringing true. Leave your comments, questions, concerns in the comment section. Let us know what you think.